Dan Larson here, and I'm at the photo booth with my uh, pickups from the first ever HasCon. We went to HasCon yesterday, Saturday. Uh, it was the first ever uh, Hasbro convention uh, down in Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, it's a three-day event, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We only went for Saturday. That was enough for us. Uh, very cool. Uh, got to see a lot of cool stuff. Toy prototypes, new figures that aren't out yet. Got to meet uh, Tommy from Tommy's Toy Travels. And Boog Nice from Boog ACBA. Very, very uh, pleased to meet those uh, guys in person. Uh, after watching their channels, uh, but uh, the real reason I was there, honestly, was <laughs> to to pick up these exclusives. Uh, from left to right, we have uh, Black Series, Star Wars Black Series, Captain Rex, uh, Marvel Legends X Force uh, version uh, of Deadpool, uh, and then of course uh, Titans Return Headmaster RC uh, with Extra Head being Ultra Magnus. Uh, first up, we'll talk about uh, well, we'll just go in order here. Uh, Captain Rex, uh, very nice figure. We're gonna do a full video review on him. I just wanted to sort of get him in here real quick. Uh, very nice details on this. Pretty much the same. It's pretty much the same body as uh, as we saw on Commander Cody. I don't have uh, Commander Gree yet. Uh, my Toys R Us, which already uh, failed us on Force Friday, uh, doesn't currently stock uh, Commander Gree. So I'm going to have to look into uh, alternative ways of acquiring him uh, unless they decide to stock him at some point. But uh, pretty pretty much the same body there. Obviously the different helmet, different gear and stuff. Uh, but yeah, you're running into all the same problems with the where the armor contacts. Uh, but hey, you know what? The nice brushwork on here. I don't know if all these details, the the trim, the metallic trim on the suit, the the hash marks on the helmet and on his boot there. I don't know if those details are going to make it into the uh, regular release version of the figure. Um, but uh, or, or even uh, the details on the weapons, which uh, have some uh, dry brushing uh, metallic there as opposed to just the regular straight black uh, plastic versions that we usually see um, and I you know I'll give him credit I you know what I don't know I don't know if this is supposed to pivot here his uh, range finder um, mine doesn't want to move I haven't tried moving it under uh, uh, running under hot water or, or hair dryer or anything like that to loosen it up I don't want to force it somebody else can uh, take a crack at trying to but uh, that's the kind of thing where if you move it and it's not supposed to move that thing's just gonna rip right off Boba Fett's didn't move Sabine Wren's did move I'm not uh, I'm not I'm not touching that anymore but uh, obviously his helmet comes off and uh, there's even dry brushing you're not gonna be able to see that. There's even like dry brushing on the inside of the helmet. Um, nice looking uh, head sculpt there, um, and uh, it's not a it's not a photo printed face yet. I don't know if they're gonna do that on the follow up, but that's a much better looking head than uh, Django Fett uh, ever was. Uh, even though technically it should be the exact same head, and I'm having a hard time telling here if uh, if I'm getting some helmet contact on his cheek there. Uh, or if that's just a, a, a battle bruise, something like that, I don't know. Um, he did come with his uh, large blaster uh, rifle here, his smaller blaster, and then he's got the two pistols uh, that tuck into his holsters on the left and right. And uh, this is actually uh, cloth. I was surprised to see that. I thought for sure it was going to be that sort of hard, rubbery uh, kind of material, sort of like, you know, Kylo Ren's underskirt uh, there. Uh, or even, you know, like this uh, shoulder pad, but it's not. It's the fabric one, and I, and I like that choice. I don't generally like the skirts. Um, even like on the Scarif uh, Beach Trooper, Shore Trooper, uh, I don't like the skirt on him. I'm fine with it on the Hoth Trooper. I don't know what the difference is. I like it on the Hoth Snow Trooper. I don't like it on the Beach Troopers, but uh, it works here. I'm glad they, I, I actually, as much as I don't usually like cloth goods, uh, usually I'm cool with capes, and in this case, uh, I think it works on the skirt. Again, we'll see if, uh, if, if any of that stuff finds its way into the uh, regular release. I'm going to slide these guys back out of the way here. That's fine. That's fine, Commander Cody. That's fine. Just take a break. Take a few minutes off. Uh, in the middle, we have the uh, X-Force Deadpool here uh, and all these accessories he comes with. He's got his two katanas, just like the original release, which we'll just throw him in here right now. Two katanas, uh, same as the original release. They're pretty much, they look pretty much the same. Different, uh, he's got the same, uh, same shoulder harness here. Um, his belt is different. Obviously, he's got the uh, holster over here, no holster over there. He's got the Deadpool logo here, the X logo over there. Uh, same hip holster, different gun. Uh, it's obviously colored differently. Uh, and then uh, his uh, legs are different. Over here, he's got the shin pads and the buckle boots. Uh, over here, no shin pads, no buckle boots. Uh, and then he comes with uh, same gun. They both came with this gun. Let me tilt you down for a second here. Uh, they both came with the same gun. Uh, this uh, X Force Deadpool, uh, he's got the word, he's got boom written. You probably can't even see that. Ah, this thing's just. Everything's going to heck now. Uh, he's got uh, boom written on his, uh, with two little Deadpool faces in the O's, uh, written on his uh, bazooka there. 
whereas uh, obviously the first release uh, had the boxing glove. Uh, the new one also comes with the uh, repulsor effect that we've seen with Iron Man that fits into the front of the rocket. So that's going to work on uh, this figure as well as on the Punisher. Uh, and if you've already got your Iron Man repulsor effects, um, guess what? Surprise! They work in the bazookas. I'm sure. You, I'm sure a lot of you already knew that. I just it's not something I, I had paid attention to. But uh, before we get too mixed up here, it's the uh, same same Wade Wilson head, and then uh, same. Is Taco the same? Uh, color might be a color's a little a little different on the Taco, but I think that's just from the uh, manufacturing. Uh, inconsistencies uh, and then old Wade came with the uh, the drum fed shotgun new Wade comes with these uh, I don't know what they're supposed to be pistols squirt guns I don't know what they are uh, they both got the boot knife but uh, old Deadpool you can actually put it in his boot holster uh, new Deadpool doesn't have any place to keep that uh, he do, does have the little I guess I'm talking about stuff you can't even see let's bring it back up he does have the little uh, extra paint, the silver paint on his shoulder harness uh, buckles there. Uh, a little bit of paint on his uh, pockets. Uh, it's a nice figure. Oh, and he's uh, he's got the dog collar, too. Uh, just a piece that fits over the neck. You can take that off if you want to. Just pop his head off and, and move it. But otherwise, it's it's uh, pretty much the exact same figure. Uh, personally, I don't have any of the other X-Force figures. No X-Force Archangel, no X-Force Wolverine, Psylocke, uh, or Warpath. So that's my only X-Force piece right now. Uh, and he's not shiny anyway, so I don't know. I guess he, he probably wouldn't even match. Uh, but uh, moving on from those, uh, last up we've got RC. Um, you know, I was uh, originally I didn't even think I was going to go in on Titans Return uh, at all. Which, you know, Headmaster's gimmick never really did that much for me uh, uh, back in the day. Um, but uh, you know, Brainstorm won me over once I picked up Brainstorm. Uh, check out our review on him. Uh, I was absolutely locked in on at least uh, his design and. That at least opened up my uh, uh, mind to checking out some of the other figures. And, uh, you know, obviously, same mold. And obviously, the blur. <laughs> blur ran out with that mold first. So it's just, uh, you know, running it out. But you know what? Even just the slight modifications make all the difference in the world. And uh, I'm fine with reusing parts, uh, especially if it means you're going to get a character that you wouldn't normally have uh, seen. And uh, I'm really glad to see RC being included in lines. Uh, you know, and, and when I was standing in line before I purchased it, I wasn't even sure I was going to get RC, and then I was like, you know what, she was one of our first videos when we started the channel. Uh, we did the, uh, I don't know if she's officially part of Combiner Wars, I think that was just before Combiner Wars. Um, but uh, she was one of the first videos we did, and I've always liked uh, picking up the RC figures when they produce her, the official ones anyway, animated series there. Um, so it was cool to see that, and you know, just a little bit of fun fact trivia. Uh, the the head actually transforms into it's supposed to be Daniel. I don't know why they can't call it Daniel, but uh, the name listed on the box is Daniel spelled backwards, uh, which is I don't know weird. But uh, anyway, I'm glad uh, glad to have picked this stuff up. We will be doing videos for Deadpool uh, and Captain Rex. Uh, not sure if we're gonna get a full video in for uh, RC. Um, but uh, yeah, look, uh, keep an eye out for those two other there. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hit like, uh, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Share this video with anybody who's uh, looking to see these figures on their television or their mobile device. Anyway, later.